Tell us who you are. I'm Jeff Fox. And uh, what else do you want to know? <laughs> I'm Jeff Fox. And 50 years ago, my wife Josie and I started Fox Racing. You could say that I was enthusiastic about the sport. Well, that's not a strong enough word. So I would say the thing is it was it was a passion for me. The idea of becoming a motorcycle dealer, and a motocross in particular, really appealed to me. Grand Prix Cycles was a small motorcycle dealership in Santa Clara originally. Actually, where it came from was there's this fellow named Ian McLaughlin who was working at a Yamaha shop as, in a, as a parts man. I was riding Yamaha, so I got to know him. We went, uh, did a, lot of, a fair amount of riding together. And at one point, he decided he wanted to start his own shop. So he did that, and he started Grand Prix Cycles. And Josie and I became involved first with flooring motorcycles. Mako was the major brand that he had at that point. So we would supply enough money that he could buy one motorcycle from the dis Mako distributor. And then after he sold that motorcycle, he would pay us back for what we loaned him, plus interest. His minority partner decided he wanted out, so Josie and I bought the 49% interest in Grand Prix Cycles, as, and we acted as silent partners for maybe a year. When I was running the Santa Clara store, I got the idea to start a mail order business out of the back door. And that was very successful. And the, the breakup came because I suggested that we put all of our efforts in the, to the mail order business because it was the most profitable part, whereas Ian wanted to open more physical stores. So I sold out. I sold back to him and basically took this mail order business that I had started at, at Grand Prix, put the Fox name on it, on the catalog, and boom, we were off the races. The first catalogs we did on our kitchen table, basically. We used a typewriter to do the typesetting and, a, and the scissors to cut it out. And we actually did a lot of you know, cutting and pasting where we cut with the scissors and we pasted with the glue as opposed to the computers that you do it today. I remember the first thing to set it was a free catalog, send a dollar for shipping and handling. And it was always fun to get the dollar in, in, the, in the envelope. <laughs> Super trick shit. That was at Grand Prix Cycles. This word trick was was everywhere back then because the, oh that new fender's trick uh, this, the carburetor that's so trick and everyone was everything was trick right the really cool stuff was trick so I just like super trick shit it just sounded good to me and it would give me attention grabber okay and so I sent the ad in to uh, I think it's a cycle news and they said they wouldn't publish it because this word shit I didn't want to see that so I so I had to give in and call it Super Trick Stuff. But on, in the inside cover, it still said Super Trick Shit. Wow. That's the history of it, yes. Yes, it was, I was censored, but. <laughs> Grand Prix Cycles was the, was the prototype, you know, and I used everything I learned there to open Fox, and we didn't have the Fox head when we opened. We had the name Moto X Fox, just text. Uh, I was contacted probably by an advertising agency, and they said that, uh, you know, we can do your ads for you, and. Uh, they came over to me and says, what you need is a logo. And I said, I do? And they said, yeah, you do. So they contacted the guy named Bob Baptiste, who was a graphic designer in Los Gatos, and they came up with the logo. And uh, they presented it to me, and, uh, and I said, well, that, you know, that looks pretty good, but you know, how much, how much is it gonna cost me? That was, it was 300 bucks. And uh, probably the best 300 bucks I ever inv invested. <laughs> I, I think we treat people like, like friends and like, like family members. I, th I think we do. I think we tend to do that, and I think that, that that's what does it. I think Show respect and and love. Nailed it. <laughs> Thank you.